back at the NEC. It's Friday. A couple of people have asked if we can look at family vans and obviously we could look at the the monster vans out of everyone's price range or nearly everyone's price range. So what we got here is the Eldis Evolution 196 and that's 52,140 we're at the Brown Hills stand and this is sort of up spec this one so it's got sort of a luxe pack, a winter pack uh, tank heaters and total price for this van is 50995 as displayed. It's license friendly, six berth and six belted seats. That's pretty good, but you've really got to watch the payload. Doesn't say what the payload is on this, does no, it? No, it doesn't. Because this is quite a big van. I mean, if you've got the license for it, get it upplated. You need a C1 on your license if you want to upplate it above 3,500. It's quite, quite a nice looking van. Bike rack on the back, reversing cameras. Your waist points down there. Water points, toilet on that side. Comes with two years free habitation and mechanical servicing. Let's have a look inside. Someone asked me what, what the noise is out here. These air conditioning vents seem incredibly noisy this year. It's only when we get inside. Is it telly on or is it's, it's an advert for this van. Oh, well, that's all right. Demonstration. Oh, just watch that then. Yeah, I think. <laughs> right, so, so it's a really nice little lounge. Very nice, yeah. It's quite solid. Never, does it feel all right? Yeah. Never quite sure about these. Yeah, it feels better than summer. It's got a, can you do the other one? Another clip there. Right at the back. Flip up the table or a free yeah. Table. Yeah, it's quite solid. It was. <laughs> it was. This is the 115. By far the smallest. Yeah, yeah some of them you say they've gone silly little hinges. Long. That's shorter than a lot of people. Recognise that face, am I? Yep. In that space you've got a classic two-birth layout with these side facing sofas. Yep. Those have got a classic uh, two-birth layout. <laughs> <What? laughs> no, this is a six-birth layout. <laughs> yeah, there we go, sir. Have a look at the kitchen. Quite a big worktop. Nice big electric burner. Grill and oven. Actually, with a six berth fan, I think one of the things you're going to need is a decent sized kitchen. That's not bad, is it? No, no. Hello, opportunity. Microwave. Here's a part of that treble seat. Like the one covers are very nice. Yeah. And they're filled in here. Yeah, so that was. But this is a classic two-burst. Does that go around then? As a one one five. Yeah. Thing. So yeah. you can yeah, put things good, around there. It would be yeah, hidden, things, wouldn't they? Yeah. Quite, quite nicely hidden. Yeah. Yeah. But these feel very, very yeah. good. Okay. Yeah, so those cupboards go in there, so that's good. Yeah. That's a really good use of cupboard space. Yeah, rather than put in a couple of shelves. Yeah. You've got a di diverter, <laughs> a divider to divide the area off. Yeah. Across there. There's your hanging space. Somewhere to put your filler cushions. And it's got all these little drawers down the bottom. More drawers in the kitchen. Now there. USBs, two 40 volt sockets. It's all good. Mm. We have a wet room. All plastic floor, toilet, cupboard, shower curtain. And it's got the orbit um, shower head pedestal, sink, it's okay, 
It's a reasonable size. I think you'll be using the on-site facilities of six of you though. Well, at least you can all get to it, can't you? Yeah. There's the drop-down bed controls. Yeah, so you can drop the bed down. See how far that goes. When you buy a motorbike, can't, yeah. right can't, right can't go. No, can't go right down. So it's got for as long as you ride that vehicle. Got a ladder up there. Gives you the benefit of various discounts. Yeah, that's and good. Very good. So we're going to get told off for dropping the bed down then. Well, sometimes you can't find the person with the key, so we tend not to do the drop down yeah. beds. So, what we've got here, we've got a double dinette, yeah. a little table. Move that across if you want. Move that. Does that move? No, it doesn't. No. Okay. So, it was a bit of a struggle getting in there. Well, I've chosen this side where, yeah, it's because you've yeah. got this lake here. Yeah. But that's quite a nice sofa, isn't it? This sort of seems to curve around, doesn't it? Mm. Comfy? Yeah, it's nice headrest. Yeah. yeah, and you've got... Bad. A little bit hard, but... You've obviously got the sofa over there. Now, that's quite a good size sofa. Yeah. You've got swivel seats there. A couple of people can hide up there. Sort would have been all right last night. There's six of us in our van. Yeah. It would have been a bit. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. <laughs> I suppose a person sitting up here would have been a bit out of it. Yeah. 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 But at least. Person sitting over there. Yeah. Well, at least you can swivel the chair. So Peugeot motorisation, six speed. Seen it all before there, haven't we? Yeah. Oh, hi. That's okay, isn't it? Just about, just about, just about brushing yeah, on the yeah, top. Yeah. Got some shelf space up here with a bit of a lip going on, so would stop some things falling out. Yeah. yeah. So this is a six berth van. Yeah. Forward seating area, which includes the swivel cab seats, but you've got this comfortable rear lounge too. Flip-up coffee table or a freestyle table. Okay. Yeah. All right. So what we got here is we're on still on the Brown Hill stand. This is a Swift Champagne six nine six, and it's five belted seats uh, and six berth. So this is on a 3,650 kilogram chassis, so you will need a C1 license for this. Uh, like I say, its length is 7.41 meters. It comes with lots of extra features there. I suppose if you pause this, you might see them all. That's an extra 1,500 pounds. And the show price here is 57,135. So it's also available without the fifth seat belt and drop down bed with a weight of 3,500. Very nice alloy wheels. A very nice champagne colour as well. Awning at the top. Have a look around the other side. This is a 140 brake horsepower engine. Got electric water fill up. Outside barbecue point. Oh no, that's an outside shower point, isn't it? Yeah. And your gas is on the back here. Yeah, we're gonna have a look. He's in here again. It's that man again. <laughs> The kitchen is now so this is very this different model, for a, a six, six berth and yeah. five seats. Yeah. 
And the fact it's got this island bird at the back, not not a real lounge. Yeah. So that's different. Yeah. And you can uh, close it off. Yeah. So that's different. We've got a couple of wardrobes. Nice shelving area there. Yeah. And you've got your lockers behind. Yeah. Have a look in there. Which is long enough. It's reasonable size. Yeah. It's another sort of shelf thing in there. I don't know what's going on with all that. USB point down there. Yeah. No, no USB point over there. You can actually get round here quite nicely. Yeah, and it obviously pulls out. Pulls it? out, yeah. Although it's easy once you pull it out. Let's pull it out. This one is a classic two That's it. Uh, no. Well, it's okay. You can still just about get past. Yeah, just about enough space there. I think uh, it's fairly easy to put back. Yeah, I like the shelves they've got there. Yeah. And a mirror there. It's a four bed. The 6.7 Fridge is handy for beers in bed. Yeah. So it opens fridge, both yeah. ways. Yeah. yeah. can optionally be specified with a drop down bed and a great big sink there. It's enormous, isn't it? It takes it up is, most of the it? workspace. Yeah. It's yeah. probably got an infill somewhere for it. Like a bifold cupboard yeah, door. Yeah, you've got uh, that there. Yeah. Yeah, you've got the shelves. That's quite nice. Cutlery drawer. Same cutlery drawer as we've got. We've got, yeah. Same yeah. cutlery drawer. Yeah. When you buy a motorhome from Brown Hills, you automatically become a member of Club Brown Hills for as long as you own that vehicle. Right. Club membership gives you the benefit of various discounts. All right, so you've got a three burner gas hob and combi oven. More drawers down there. Yeah. Right. In there, yeah. It's very easy to get to plates and things. Yeah, from from the, <laughs> from there, yeah. Because uh, it raises on that you up, doesn't it? Up. Yeah. And then on the, on the old, yeah. You know, yeah. Quite, quite like easy access to this cupboard as well. Yeah. The TV so you like this step here? Then? Um, this step is really useful. <laughs> yeah. In yeah. this tall classic two berth with a side settee front. Right. Let's have a look in the washroom. The six one four is another front lounge. Yeah, so it's a little bit of a wet room, you know, plastic floor, reasonable size sink, mirror, uh, roof light, and a little cupboard, and a bit of hanging space, shower curtain. Oh, it's alright, it's okay. There's nothing to write home about, but we'll do the job. Moving into the lounge, what you've got here, you've got travel seats and an L shaped sofa and a fixed table yeah. and, and car carpets carpet that are that they're not fixed <laughs> you've got a little seat here which is a travel seat is it oh this doubles as a tra as a fifth travel seat doesn't it? but you have to go backwards oh yeah yeah so the fifth travel seat configuration you you presumably you turn these cushions around and you're facing backwards when you buy a so that's something to consider if you definitely need five seats. I think I'd, this would be better as a four berth. Yeah. And someone else arrives separately. But yeah, so you've got two over there. This makes into a bed. And you've got a drop down. Drop down bed here. But the layouts include more and skip Manual drop down bed. Wheel, you still get underneath. Just about, yeah. yeah. Well, you've got to to get to the other bed. Yeah. So there's it? a ladder. And then there ladder the up the top. Up the top. Oh. I don't quite know what's going on there, though. Well, that's for the travel seat, isn't it? Oh, is it? Yeah. Guess. This pulls out. That, yeah, that pulls out to there, and then you pull that up. Do you want to try that? which is a brand new floor plan for 2020. It's got this L-shaped lounge at the front with a settee opposite, and including the two cab seats swivelled under the big over cab sunroof. The central kitchen area has a three-burner hob as well as a 
and of course for the Life Alive Pub. The sink comes with a chopping board and a remote grinding board, and the fridge has automatic energy selection. Importantly, there's plenty of work. Zoom, you need an infill there, don't you? Yeah. In this layer is the Presumably that will go over there somewhere. These fixed lower level single beds with the comfort of two mattresses. Beds are on equal lengths. This yeah. Okay. Nine meters. <laughs> that one's one. different. Blinds, and you can close off the bedroom. I mean, you'd have to do something like that to make up the bed, wouldn't you, at night? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. I couldn't, right. be, I couldn't be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, that, that, you get the idea. Anyway. Is slightly shorter right. <laughs> Right, the third one in our trilogy of family vans is on the Marquis stand we've got a, a Benamar Primero 314 which is 6 berth uh, it's a Euro 6D 140 brake horsepower engine under 6 metres this one so that's different MTPLM uh, you can have an option of 3650 Massing run in order 290, so your payload is either 590 or 740. So this should be an interesting van. Do you want to go in? Yeah, do you want to go in? Under six meters, six berth van, and obviously what you get here is a big over cab. So you don't see too many over cabs these days door with a window okay so so it's a drop down over cab bed obviously because of the height problem here that tilts up this bed so how do you pull it down oh just pull it down it's on hydraulic struts and you get a big over cab area over there with it nice pocket over there for keeping I suppose you put your clothes in there that's quite good more pockets over that side and a little window over there and a skylight above you that's all right isn't it cab seats don't swivel or at least I can't see a swivel on them but uh, probably wouldn't play much of a part in the seating area anyway would they Seating area is confusing me a bit because it's obviously four, isn't it? Yeah. And it's for six. Where do where the other two people sit? sit? Unless obviously if well, it's small enough, three could probably. I suppose you could sit in the in the cab at the front, can't they? Facing forward, but yeah. But you've only really got four seats, haven't you? Well, I suppose if, if you've got small children, you probably can. Yeah. Squeeze in, can't you? Yeah. If you've got kids, that, adults would be a challenge. Yeah, if you've got kids, they'd probably be in the bunk beds at the back anyway, wouldn't they? Yeah. Probably wouldn't see them. Well, that's quite neat. Yeah, I think mean, kids love a, a bunk bed. I'm told. Well, I would have done when I was a kid. Anyway, let's do this in some sort of order. How about that? Thetford duplex, triplex, I always get that wrong, triplex because it's got electric hot plate, combi oven type thing, grill and oven. With a drainer board. Oh, 240 volt socket under the sink. Mm. Any cutlery drawer. More storage underneath, and more under there. There's no pop-out table there, is there? So it's not a, not the biggest uh, kitchen I've ever seen for a, in a six berth. These cupboards are a reasonable size. More storage above there. Oh, you've got a bit of a, a bar to stop things falling on your head. I wouldn't use that whilst you're travelling there. Got a wardrobe here. Have to remember this is a six berth van on a under six metre thing, so. Is it? It's not yeah, yeah. Oh. So more wardrobe space there. So that's good. That's good. 
Yeah. I don't think of the limitations you've got here, but they've crammed all this in, haven't they? Mm. It's probably going to make the washroom a bit smaller. I want a bit of like a step. Well, this is a very posh washroom. Look at this. You've got a revolving door, so it makes a cubicle. Starship Enterprise cubicle. A very sort of plush black sink with some nice shiny um, attachments. I can't think what they're going to say there. Thetford toilet. That's on it. You'll have to have a look at this toilet, Jenny, but it's on quite a pedestal. <laughs> uh, and a cupboard at the back. I would comment on the shower as it's actually quite a narrow opening here to actually get through. Right then. Oh, that goes around a little bit more. That's it. Oh, now I can get in. It goes back a bit, yeah. And that toilet is... Oh, I suppose it's not so bad. It's at my knee height, but your legs will be dangling there. Yeah. Yeah, and it's a bit of a step down. But yeah, <laughs> do like the little little bunk beds. That's great. So this is something to consider if you've got a, fa a family, a couple yeah. of small kids. We've got four travel seats four, here. Four travel seats. Two from. Yeah, yeah. So you have four people in here. Two two kids, two adults possibly. Two at the front. Yeah. Bed at the front there. This must make up into a bed. This probably pulls together to make a bed. Or well, this table drops down, one of the two, I think the table drops down. I'll make another bed. Quite a short bed that would think that mm. would be. And you obviously got two bunks at the back. Yeah. Well that would work. Mm. Yeah. If this wardrobe here just thinking seems quite a bit of a waste of space there, doesn't they? Probably could have built something further up. But probably because people are going to be sleeping in this bed, there'll be a mm, cupboard right. I don't know. I don't know. Heads. You could put another cupboard in there. I'd have put another cupboard in there. Put two USBs, I believe. Pointed that out. Have you? Well, I didn't see them. They're there. Two USBs, 12 volt and two 40 volt sockets so I there. So you put your phone. On the you top put your phone or your laptop. So you you could don't, no, to no cupboard up there. No, there's a lip there, isn't there? So good yeah. place to charge your laptop. That's right. You've got some more shelves, open shelves over there. And a load of cupboards along here. Yeah. I'm just going to check the figures on this because. Yeah, to double check, its exterior length is 5.99 meters. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that is incredible how much they've crammed into that little van. So if you're buying at the show, it includes a free flat screen TV, bike rack and awning. I suppose it's because you've got the over Well, the over bed. Well, that's the over cabin bed makes such a big difference on space, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, it ma doesn't make it the most handsome van you'll ever see. So that's the Benamar Primero 313. So just have a quick look. It's got a locker at the back as well. Yeah, so you could put one of the bunks up and you could use that as garage space. So if you only got five of you there, you get a bit of a garage. I suppose when you're travelling, put yeah. the bunk up and put your stuff in there. Obviously you'd probably need an awning. Yeah, you probably need the awning, which, yeah, right. which you haven't got. Which you haven't got, no. no. <laughs> so you'd need to get an awning, put the awning up, take the stuff out of the garage, yeah, there were going to be some compromises with that, but I'm quite impressed with that. 